Hi, Story Film here and welcome to my channel. Today, I will tell a story in American 1998 animation movie called The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Before we begin, get yourself something to eat and drink, find a comfortable place, and enjoy the story. The film opens where the previous film ended, set a few years later as Rafiki gathers the animals of the Pride Lands together for the presentation of Simba and Nala's new daughter, Kiera. Kiera, voiced by Michelle Horn, grows into a headstrong yet stubborn cub, traits that Simba finds disconcerting as he's worried about the kind of trouble she can get into which Simba always make a signs for Taiman and Pumba to watch over her. When Kiera discovers the bumbling duo following her, she angrily abandons them and runs off to the Forbidden Outlands where their Kiera bumps into and meets a young cub named Kovu, voiced by Ryan O'Donoghue. They quickly become friends, especially after saving each other from a group of hungry crocodiles and they make it to safety in the Pride Lands, unaware that Zira, Kova's mother, voiced by Suzanne Plachette, and leader of the Outsiders, is watching nearby. When Simba and his Pride come to retrieve Kiera, he is confronted by Zira before she introduces Simba to her cub and claims that he, as the last born, was hand chosen by Scar to be his heir. Though Simba is angered by this, he does not retaliate and demands that Zira leave before Kiera and Kovu say sad farewells to each other. At Pride Land, Simba scolds Kiera for disobeying him and says, as future queen, she will need to be wiser to which Kiera replies she doesn't like the idea of being queen. Meanwhile, in the Outlands, Nuka, Kova's older brother and voiced by Andy Dick, complains to young Vitani, voiced by Lacey Chibert about Kovu being the chosen one, although Kovu isn't even Scar's son. At that moment, Zira arrives with Kovu and rounds on Nuka for failing to watch him, but Kova try to defend his brother by telling that it is not his fault. She angrily reminding him that Simba is the reason for their banishment and Scar's death, but Kovu, however, expresses the desire to be friends with Kiera which make her laughs this off, until she hatches an inspirational idea, to use Kiera and Kova's friendship against Simba. Years later, Kiera, now a young adult, voiced by Neve Campbell, is about to embark on her first solo hunt and ask her father to trust her. Simba, still an overprotective male lion, once again broke his promise and sends Taiman and Pumba to supervise her to which when Kiera discovers she is once again being followed, gets angry and runs away. Meanwhile, Zira start her plan to infiltrate Simba's pride and sends Nuka and young adult Vitani, voiced by Jennifer Lean, to ignite a wildfire on the plains which make Kiera becomes trapped by flames and smoke before faints. Kovu, now voiced by Jason Marsden then appears and carries Kiera to safety. Simba and the others locate Kiera, and Kovu makes a plea to join them. Simba agrees only to repay the debt owed for saving Kiera's life and promises to enforce judgment soon. At Pride Rock, Kiera thanks Kovu for saving her, but he criticizes her hunting abilities which make Kiera requests that he teach her to be better, starting at dawn. The next morning, Simba goes to a watering hole alone, with Kova close by and ready to pounce before Kiera suddenly arrives and urge him to star her hunting lesson. Kovu offers a demonstration after he watched Kiera terrible hunting skills. He pounces over a hill, aiming at some landed birds, but instead comes face to face with Taiman and Pumba, enjoying a smorgasbord of bugs. However, the birds are hogging the good eats, so Taiman asks Kovu to help to chase them off by roaring which then later they all run off in pursuit of the birds, hooting and laughing, which confuses Kovu since he's never had any kind of fun before. Later, Kiera shows Kova the star-studded night sky and tells him all the great kings of the past are there. Kovu asks if Scar is up there, which leads to an awkward moment where Kovu admits that, while he was not Scar's son, he was still a part of him. Before he leaves, Rafiki appears and stops him. Having seen a vision from Mufasa at the two young lions will bring peace between the prides, he takes Kiera and Kovu to a place in the jungle called Appendi, a play on the Swahili word for love. There, the two lions fall in love, as expected. That night, upon returning to Pride Rock, Simba invites Kovu to sleep inside, deciding to give him a chance while Vitani watching nearby and sees Kovu failing to attack Simba and reports this to Zira. In the morning, Simba takes Kovu for a walk and tells him the true story of Scar, which Kovu has never heard, and just as Simba implies he's willing to let Kovu live within the Pride Lands, Zira and the Outsiders appear and ambush Simba, which make him thought that Kova lead him to trap. Kova tries to intervene but is knocked out before the Outsiders chase Simba into a gorge and he attempts to flee by climbing up a dam made of fallen trees. 
Nuka rushes forward in a desperate bid to impress his mother, just like what failure firstborn would do in real life, and grabs Simba's feet, but he loses his footing and is crushed by trees. Zira rush to comforts Nuka as he dies and regret her thought for her firstborn before, just what in real life mom would do, before she rounds on Kovu for failing to act and scarring his face. Kova flees and returns to Pride Rock where a wounded Simba promptly exiles him and sends Kiera to confinement inside the den. She escapes, however, and is later reunited with Kovu on the plains where Kova suggests running away together, but Kiera states that, if they leave, their prides will be forever divided. Meanwhile, Zira leads her pride into the Pride Lands in a final bid to claim Pride Rock. Simba and his pride face off with them at the gorge in a torrential downpour and a fierce fight breaks out. Then, as Simba and Zira face off, Kovu and Kiera arrive to stand between them. Kiera tells Simba that he once told her, we are one, and explains that this applies to all lions, even the outsiders. Her words inspire everyone, except Zira, who still can't let go of the past. She lunges at Simba, but Kiera intercepts, and the two of them tumble down the side of the gorge where Kiera lands on a ledge while Zira hangs on by her claws. In a reversal of roles, Kiera offers help to Zira, but she refuses and falls to her death into the flooded gorge below. The next day, Simba, Nala, Kiera, and Kova stand on the ledge of Pride Rock and roar together to bring in a new era of peace. From on high, Mufasa looks down with pride and repeats the adage. Thank you for watching. Like, share and comment below if you like the recap and subscribe for more videos.